Hello, I'm Owen Cornwell. I'm an applications chemist in the Waters European Demo Lab here in Wilmslow. And in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the new Intact Mass Analysis app in Waters Connect. This app has been designed to facilitate high capacity, high throughput mass confirmation and purity determination for biomolecules, including peptides and proteins, oligonucleotides and conjugates. It has lots of features, uh, which make it an incredibly useful tool to support your biopharmaceutical discovery workflow, uh, including the flexibility to select different processing and acquisition methods in the sample list, automatic peak picking and spectral deconvolution, and parallel data acquisition and processing, all of which is packaged in a modern, easy to use user interface within the compliant ready Waters Connect platform. The Intact Mass app can be used to both acquire and process data, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to focus on how we process and review data for a typical map. Right now, we're in the Waters Connect hub where all of our Waters applications sit. If we load up our Intact Mass app, we come to the main Intact Mass app window where we're going to select process existing data and give our new project a name and file location. Because we're processing existing data, we're then asked for two things. Which processing method do we want to use and which injections do we want to process? I have some Intact Mab test injections here I'd like to process, so I just click on the sample set and I can either import the whole sample set or import individual injections from that sample set. And I've imported these with a previously saved processing method that I've selected in this top window. We can go into the details of this method where we can look at and define various different parameters of the automatic data processing. The Intact Mass app will perform automatic peak detection and spectral deconvolution. So in these first two tabs, we have settings for these two tasks where we can tell the software things like which chromatogram we want to look for peaks in, which spectral deconvolution algorithm we want to use and what type of molecule we're analyzing. You can see that there's actually not a lot we need to change. So uh, as a user, you don't need to have any prior knowledge of the masses in your samples or set any deconvolution premises. We can then specify what, if any, variable mass modifications we want to look for. In this example, I'm going to be processing some intact MAB samples. So I've got some glycosylations I want to look for, but by default, this app comes with an extensive library of commonly observed modifications you can see here. And of course, you can make your own if you need to using the administration app in Waters Connect. The automatic data processing also includes a purity analysis. So in this tab, we can specify pass, fail, and warning thresholds for the purity of our sample, as well as how we want that purity calculation to be done. In this case, I'm quantifying using the optical UV trace. And then lastly, we can set similar thresholds for mass accuracy and whether we want to quantify based on peak height or peak area. Once we're happy with the processing method, we can then specify which mass we want to look for in each injection. If we've got multiple masses to look for, we can just put them in a list by separating each mass with a comma. Uh, or indeed, if we're not sure what the mass is we're looking for in an injection, we can run an untargeted analysis uh, still with the automatic peak detection and spectral deconvolution uh, just by leaving this blank. We can then process our data. Uh, in this instance, we're processing data that's already been acquired, but you can, of course, if you want, both acquire and process samples in the Intact Mass app, and the data will be processed simultaneously with the acquisitions. So you won't have to wait till the batch is finished for your data to start processing. The last data file will finish processing just a few minutes after the batch is finished. When data processing is finished, we have several options of how we want to review the data. We can use the tabs down the side here to look at groups of results. So we can look at all the system suitability tests or all the untargeted analyses, for example. Or we have results which are grouped by whether or not they exceeded the mass accuracy and or purity thresholds we set in the processing method indicated as pass, warning or fail, 
which are also helpfully colour coded green, yellow and red in the tray and sample list views. So this is one of our targeted injections looking for intact trastuzumab. We can see the TIC and UV traces with the completed automatic peak detection. If we scroll down to look at the results table, we have these little check marks to tell us that the spectral deconvolution has found the mass we specified to within the mass accuracy tolerances we gave in the processing method, and that the automated purity assessment has calculated the purity of this sample at 76% which also passed our processing method thresholds. We can also now see we have components assigned to masses with different modifiers on, in this case uh, glycosylations, and their respective mass errors as well. If we scroll down a bit further, we can take a look at the spectra. So we have here raw, mock, and deconvoluted spectra, all of which we can interact with to make sure that our peaks are well resolved. If we have a more complicated analysis with multiple peaks, like this next injection, uh, this is an adalimumab sample treated with the fabricator enzyme from Genovis. So we should be expecting three peaks, one for the light chain and one for each half of the heavy chain. Again, if we want to look for those masses, we just add them in the sample table I showed you earlier. When we look at the results for this, we can see the automatic peak detection has helped us out by annotating our uh, three peaks with different shapes. So when we look down to our results table, we can see which of our masses are under which peak. Which in this case is the FC half of the heavy chain under peak one, and then the light chain and the fab half of the heavy chain with the hinge region under peaks two and three. And this time, because we have multiple peaks, the intact mass app has deconvoluted each of them, which we can see by scrolling down. All of this was automatic. I didn't have to tell the software how many chromatogram peaks I had or where they'd elute. It just detected them by itself, extracted the mass spectra, and then optimized the deconvolution parameters to give me the best results. If you're in discovery, this can save you a lot of time because you can use a generic method to process all of your samples. It also makes the software easy to use for less experienced MS users because you don't need any expert knowledge to optimize the spectral deconvolution. We can also see our processing method thresholds in action if I use this injection uh, as an example. By telling the software that we're only expecting the first two masses instead of three, this third peak is then effectively uh, treated as an unexpected impurity. So we now get a purity warning and indeed, if we go further and tell the software we were only expecting one mass, the purity has then dropped below the warning threshold and we can see has now failed its purity assessment. So very helpful that these calculations are all done automatically by the software. And if you wanted to know what the impurities are, these peaks do still fall within our peak detection parameters in our processing method. So the software does, of course, still deconvolute the spectra under these peaks so we can identify the impurity masses. That's a quick overview of the new Intact Mass app in Waters Connect. Hopefully I've been able to demonstrate that the workflow and automatic data processing makes mass confirmation relatively quick and simple for any user to achieve. If you have any questions or want to learn more about Intact Mass Analysis at Waters, do please get in touch.